Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is an update on a hydrangea tree form uh, that I did a video on maybe a year ago uh, at this point. I'll link that video down below um, and I'll link it down in the uh, comments as well so you can go back and take a look at it. This was just a regular hydrangea paniculata that you would have bought that wasn't in a tree form um, when I acquired it. So that could be limelight, it could be white wedding, it could be, there's so many uh, hydrangea paniculatas uh, on the market at this point. But basically it's just a multi-stemmed multi shrub uh, when, you, when, I bought, when I got it. Uh, Dr. Durr actually gave me uh, this one. And it had like, three stems on it that were coming you know, up at it, just like any other shrub would be. And I basically just planted it in the ground where the, the most vigorous, straightest one was, was sticking straight up. So the plant was a little cockeyed in the ground, but I left the one stem up. Left it planted like that for uh, uh, a couple months. And then I showed in some of my landscape update videos, I, I cut the other two stems down to the ground and then allowed this one to come up to uh, right at about this height right here. You can see where this was cut. And actually there's a, uh, uh, the branching came out down below this piece, but there's, there's where the original uh, straight stem was. It was cut right here. When I cut it here, I allowed three branches to come from that spot. And so you can see one right here, one right here, and one right here. So they've got three upright branches from that spot. So I'm, I've got this, st this stake is temporary. I've got to uh, get a heavier piece of bamboo. I had it staked with bamboo. I need a heavier piece, but I had this metal uh, cage, so I'm using it right this second. Okay, then these three branches were allowed to get fairly tall, and then they were individually cut back to the same height. And what that resulted in was three branches from each of these branches. So there's one, two, three on that one, one, two, three on this one, one, two. Actually, currently there's just two on the back one and I'll, I'll allow another one to, uh, to grow. There may have been more than three that actually initiated and that, those were just cut off. So three have been able to initiate. Hydrangea paniculatas bloom on new wood. So what we've seen this season, is we've gotten this new growth of about three feet and then we have flowers. This particular one has all the flower parts exposed and so the bees uh, absolutely love this one. If you want one that's similar to this, you can get something like Tardiva, which has been around for a long time. It's got, the bees absolutely love that um, variety and they love this one uh, as well. They've gotten the bright, these start green, just like any of the most paniculatas. Then they get bright white and now there are uh, some hues, some pink hues are showing up in them and they can be used for cut flowers later or whatever. Um, for me, I'm letting the bees enjoy them for now. There's still some of the, the, uh, uh, the flowers that still haven't opened uh, up on the very ends of these. So I'm going to let them finish uh, blooming out. And then I'm going to come, uh, basically I, let, I kept about a foot of growth, uh, maybe a little more than that on these bottom three branches. I'm going to do the same up here on these. And so somewhere right in here, I'm going to cut this uh, after these flowers fade a little bit more. So there's one, two any of them. I'm going to cut them all to about the same length. What that's going to do is initiate three more branches uh, next year. And so I'm in complete control of this thing. I've branched it here into three, and then I've branched the three into threes. Like I say, one of them still has two. I'm going to allow a third one to uh, come out on that. And now I'm going to cut all of those to the same height once these are finished blooming. I'll be doing this sometime around the first of August. And so po quite possibly, Hydrangea paniculatas again bloom on new wood, so there's some possibility we might see a few more flowers on it before the end of the season. Probably not. Probably don't have enough time. But that's the process. And also, one other thing is this trunk is not thick enough to hold up the top of this plant. And so this slowing it down process that I'm doing also should help me thicken up this trunk. Um, I think over the course of the winter and, and early next spring, uh, it will be more rigid, uh, less likely to need to be um, less likely to need to be staked in the future. But I'm going to do the same thing again next year. I'm going to, you know, after these, these are going to be cut to about this height. They're going to branch. So they're going to be about this long. Okay. And then those are going to bloom and then it's going to be cut again. And so there'll just be layers where it branches into three, about every foot and a half in height uh, as they go up. But that's my update. All I've done here is plant a an inexpensive, what could be just an inexpensive Tardiva hydrangea paniculata. Uh, you know, you don't have to get a patented one to do this. Ha examine them in the container, find the straightest one. You go back and look at that video and you'll see how the, the beginning process was. 
The area has been mulched, it's been kept weed free, and it's been fertilized here uh, earlier, um, earlier in the season with an organic fertilizer, but there's nothing else going on with it. The rest of everything I've done here is just pruning, uh, which is just fairly straightforward. Again, letting them extend about a foot, you know, three feet and cutting that in half uh, and letting it branch. I've got a fig next to it, which is going to move. I'm going to get harvest the figs off of it this year. Uh, that fig's in a little more shade than it wants to be in and it's stretching uh, quite a bit. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the figs off of it, cut it back hard, and it's going to move this winter out of the way. Eventually this hydrangea paniculata will be allowed to just go over the roof line uh, here on the shed in the back. But there it is. Um, that's a, that took about, I don't know now, maybe 18 months. Um, you know, I, I don't actually remember when that first uh, video went up, probably less than that. But all we've done so far is make one set of cuts, two set, yeah, one cut, uh, second set of cuts, uh, fertilize, mulch, st keep it staked. That's it. Um, pretty straightforward. It'll get fertilized again next March. Not trying to really push it very hard. Uh, just, at, you know, a as, as it presents itself, as I get that kind of growth on it, I prune it again. Pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching, guys.